Hey, hey, how's it going, guys? <clears throat> Welcome back to another Monday Motivation. Now, today is going to be a little, little different. We're going to be doing a little bit of a crypto Monday Motivation. Because, uh, I mean, why not? <clears throat> we do Monday Motivation all the time. Let's, uh, let's see if we can uh, put a theme on this one. <clears throat> actually, the real reason I'm actually bringing up uh, a crypto Monday motivation, that's what we're having today, is simply because... It's simply because of, uh, you know, some recent things that happened uh, within the crypto community, specifically within my own crypto community, my own, uh, in my own Discord. By the way, if you guys haven't joined the Discord yet, please feel free to join the Discord, all right? Links are all the way at the bottom. And uh, please join the mayhem, join the fun, and let's uh, let's can this is how you know. Let's just uh, continue not just this conversation, but every other conversation in the Discord. I mean, that's what it's for. All right. Sorry, I'm trying to do three things at once here, trying to trying to see if I can cross the street. But anyways, so I, in my Discord, I actually have a room called the XRP Black Hole. Yeah, sorry, you know, some uh, really horrible driver almost ran me and a couple people over there. Because, of course, he was looking on his phone and not fucking driving and paying attention. Which is very rare out here, by the way. Not, not many people do that. Most people, when they're going to text or use their phone, they actually do pull over. And don't do both at once. Don't quote me on that. Just saying. But anyway. Alright, let's get, let's, get, uh, let's get to walking and ch chatting here. So yeah, so I have this thing, this room called the XRP Black Hole. Um, and, you know, within that room, people from the XRP community, specifically the XRP Army, or whatever the hell they want to call themselves, can go in there and chat with the rest of the Discord and the rest of the, of the crypto community about XRP. And how, you know, and I give them a platform so they can tell us as to how awesome XRP and the Ripple Network really are. Now, I've had that room in there for a while because, in all honesty, I, I have ever, I already know that uh, the XRP, the Ripple community is all full of shit. It's a Ponzi scheme. It's all crap. And, um, you know, the real reason I, I, the real reason I put that room in there, Jesus, bro. A lot of shit drivers today anyways the reason i had that room in there was basically because you know i want i, want, I really want to hear um their two cents hey I, at the end of the day i could be wrong and um i really just want to hear from them from them themselves literally i give them a whole platform so that they can tell me all about ripple and XRP and how awesome it is and how awesome this project is and how it's going to change the, the crypto world and the, the world in general because again you know that's that's what they're always talking about they're always uh they're huge huge on selling you guys you know that project and program or whatever the fuck but the thing is all they do is talk 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 but there's no actual um proof you know there's no actual working product there's no actual anything it's a it's a project that's been around for fuck from their own words their own everything over seven years and they haven't done shit all they do is sign a bunch of partnerships tell people that they're gonna do this tell people they're gonna do that take people's money and don't do absolutely nothing so to me you know the reason I opened the I have that room available in my discord is honestly because of all the people in the crypto space there's a lot of crypto projects a lot of crypto um, coins, a lot of crypto groups, a lot of crypto everything out there. And uh, everyone, for the most part, stays in their own lane. Now, for the most part, you know, there are people in every single coin out there, whether it's a Bitcoin, whether it's Monero, Digibyte, um, Dentacoin, you name it. There's people out there that are shillers. They just love that project so much that they just shill, shill, shill. You know, all they do is just sell you on that product. And, you know, we, we've, we've met plenty of people like that in our past that, that do, you know, they do that with all kinds of things. You know, sometimes the, the products are, are warranted. 
of uh, all that, you know, press, you know, that is given to them. But a lot of times it's, it's not. A lot of times it's not. But again, you know, right now within the crypto space, you already know whether you're in it or not, you know plenty of people that are just shillers of all this technology. I'm a shiller of Bitcoin. I'm a shiller of blockchain. I'm a shiller of uh, the crypto space of near, near zero marginal cost, the future, um, this new economy, this new paradigm. You, know, you guys know I'm a shill for Mexico and traveling. I'm a, I'm a shill for a bunch of shit. That's 100%. But the reality is, is that, you know, these are things that I actually care about. I'm actually very passionate about. I have uh, countless, countless videos, you know, talking about not only why I love these things, but, you know, giving you real world examples as to their everyday use and all this other stuff. And um, when, when it comes to most other coins, you know, um, they have their their shows. They got their their groups of people who also do the same exact thing. And um, and like I said, um, every group has a little bit of a mini army. Now, to the point I want to make. Of all the groups out there, the group that is the most, you know, hardcore, the group that is the most uh, adamant to, to shove this uh, stuff down people's throat is literally the Ripple XRP community. They just are. Everyone in the, in the crypto community puts them by far as number one when it comes to, you know, shilling bull, you know, shilling their products and they're marketing their product and selling their product and doing all that so you know me being the guy that i am you know I, i've had it kind of like enough you know i've had enough for uh, for, for months so th that's why you see me every once in a while i'll make like an xrp ripple video and i'm making fun of them and i'm calling them out all i all i basically do is call them out so that they can prove me wrong prove me wrong you know just lay some facts Lay some some uh, some knowledge on me, so I can shut the fuck up. But they never do that. They never ever 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 do that. They do the complete opposite. They start crying. They start saying, uh, you know, that I'm, I'm name calling them or bullying them or whatever. And it's like, why, why, why am I bullying you? Because I'm I'm reading off your own Ripple website and uh, calling out how how much of a Ponzi scheme it is. Or I ask you to explain yourself and your technology and you refuse to do so when you actually do explain your technology I literally call you out on it and say well we already have something that's better or they're already you know working on something that is gonna be better or this already exists that it's a real world case uh, you know uh, use case for what you guys are building only again better faster you know everything so they get pissed off because, you know, again, um, they have absolutely no leg to stand on. So, you know, I, I know I've been talking uh, like over eight minutes now and, um, you know, talking about this situation. And uh, but let us get to the motivation aspect of all this. This has been extremely motivating to me because I don't give a platform to any coin out there period end of story the only platform I mean the only yeah the only people I I give a little bit of a platform on my channel to is big well first of all Bitcoin I'm um, Litecoin if they want it um, Monero if they want it they don't need it and EOS EOS because I'm a, I'm a fan you know EOS is doing major things that um, I'm, I'm really interested in and therefore I you know I give them a platform because hey they're constantly you know um, surprising us with new tech new projects new working products um, new blockchains new news everything everything um, you know from a new um, decentralized uber decentralized exchanges um, social media networks you name it they're, they're killing it and again you know there's plenty of projects that are doing the same but the reason that none of them really have a a stage or a platform on on my discord or you know and in my whatever is because none of them need it none of them need it in fact i'm one of the you know i'm gonna give you a quote from eos 
you know, EOS themselves says, like, the reason we don't have to sell our product is because our product speaks for itself. As people find out about it, or as people um, come into problems with, you know, Ethereum or other, you know, blockchain building uh, platforms, then they eventually, you know, end up coming to, to EOS. EOS speaks for itself. That's it. You know what I mean? That's the kind of shit that I like to deal with. You know what I mean? Like, literally, putting their fucking... Uh, Putting their words where their mouth is, right? Is that the right thing? And so that's the thing. So when I confront the Ripple XRP community, and by the way, this can go to any toxic person or persons or groups out there. When you confront these groups, these individuals, they usually run the fuck away. They usually shut the fuck up. Why? Because they got nothing to say. And that's the thing. All they can really do, like in my case, for example, is make fun of me. But I already beat them to it. I make fun of myself all the fucking time. And, and if that's all they really have to say is, you know, make fun of me um, because their project is shit and I called them out for it. Hey, listen, man, you're just doing me a favor. You know, you, you know, not only are you entertaining me, you're entertaining a bunch of other people and you're making yourselves look stupid. You know, and um, I'm, I'm constantly challenging them too. If you're confident in not just your abilities but your project your whatever the fuck it is out there if you're one billion percent confident there's no one or nothing out there that's ever going to shake that confidence and um, i know that's how they feel as well but the thing is that you know when they confront me just like they confront a few others out there in the crypto community oh their their confidence is shaking it's fucking shaking to the core and that's why they fucking uh, hate my guts and i uh, hate a lot of people's guts out there that you know talk about this shit but you know i'm putting it out there where you know i i um, I, I um after like this whole thing happened you know this whole i don't know situation happened and i realized i was just talking to a bunch of babies out there a bunch of you know people that and you know again i've created this xrp army and um it's just basically you know big connect 2.0 literally um you know there's nothing you can do you know i'm not here to fucking i'm not here trying to save anybody i'm not here trying to you know push my agenda or my anything on anybody the complete opposite the thing is that you know i understand that there's a lot of people there's a lot of people br that are coming brand new into this space and uh most people you know they are coming really you know brand new into this space actually have absolutely zero knowledge you know when it comes to all this stuff so all of a sudden you know these individuals you know i'm talking to a lot of you people out there a lot of you guys out there they're newbies you know what happens is that you know um you're gonna go find information on bitcoin you're gonna go find information on other coins or other projects and you realize it's not much out there and the reason it's not much out there, I mean, it's just because, again, Bitcoin, there's no owner to Bitcoin. There's no marketing firm. There's no nothing. When it comes to a lot of these coins and projects that are trying to, they're literally doing the right thing. Part of the right thing is not, you know, the marketing and the advertising and being a corporation, being a company. But since XRP, Ripple, is trying to do the complete opposite of the right thing. They're trying to do the wrong thing, which is scam the fuck out of everybody. That's why you see them. Uh, constantly always um, you know with the marketing and all they're doing is like you know eating people's brains that don't know anything about this stuff you know brainwashing them by just telling them information like oh we just signed all these partnerships we just did all these deals we just bought uh, stock in MoneyGram so that we can force them to use our network and you know just whatever the fuck they're gonna tell you and it's like they're missing the complete point because Anyone that just knows a little bit about, um, you know, Bitcoin and the things that, you know, we talk about here on this channel, fully understand that the main objective of uh, Bitcoin, the main objective of Bitcoin is to get rid of the banks, to get rid of the middlemen, to get rid of the status quo. And all they advertise is that they are there to make sure that the status quo and that these entities stay in place. They say it themselves all the time. So it's like, you know, it doesn't matter how, what angle you're looking at this at, it's, it's just pure evil and toxic and horrible. 
But again, I give these I, gave, I was giving these people a platform because I wanted to be proven wrong. I wanted to know more about this stuff. I really wanted to hear it from them themselves. What you know, what makes this shit so great? And after many, many, many months, and especially this last week, everything just came to a head because not once have they been able to do any kind of research on their own to prove anything to, to me or my community. In fact, we've done our own research because we've gone, you know, literally, um, you know, we just had it already. You know, we've already become, um, damn it, what's the word I'm looking for? But anyways, just pissed off, I guess, you know? And we've done our own research and we've, you know, again, you know, doing the things that they're supposed to be doing. And, you know, we tell them and they don't want to fucking hear it either. You know, they just keep saying, oh, we have all these products. We have all these things. And they can look, I guess all I'm saying is this. There's toxic people, toxic situations all over the place, all over the world. And it's up to you to not get entangled into this shit. Because I got, I, I got entangled into this. I got my, my, uh, my community entangled into all this. And honestly, I, at first it was just for fun, so that we can learn and all this shit. But we, we, you know, we had our fun, and then it stopped being fun. But we did start learning a lot of fucking things. We started really learning what makes these people tick. Hey guys. So yeah, sorry about that. It's just very, very, very hot, hotter than usual. It still hasn't been raining. It's uh, almost the end of June and uh, we're still waiting on that rain to cool everything down. So everything is just extra, extra hot. So anyways, as I was saying, at the end of the day, we did learn a lot from this. We all learned a lot from this whole experience. Um, you know, just simply the fact that, you know, as we confronted them, as we did our own homework, our own research with them around and, um, you know, we, we all realize the fact that, yeah, this Ripple XRP thing is a scam and is, you know, a Ponzi scheme and all these other things, you know, put together. And there was, uh, you know, it's, it's just been really interesting because, you know, one thing is calling it out with just a little bit of knowledge. But then when you do that deep dive, you know, just like like we've we've been doing for months, you know, we re we realize that it's 100 percent no bueno. And, um, you know, we learned, you know, um, more about that. We also learned what makes these people tick. Um, in the XRP community, we learned a lot of things. But the one thing, the main thing, the most important thing that I think we learned from all this was the fact that we don't need to be wasting our time with shit projects, okay? Or shit coins, or things that are not worth our time, you know? Uh, again, you know, this could be toxic people, toxic environments, toxic relationships, toxic anything. It's all in the same boat. You've, you know I've talked about this before in other episodes. and. Um, and that's the thing. It's made us realize that instead of spending so much time talking about this scam, this bullshit, we should be, you know, I should be spending more time talking about Litecoin and what makes Litecoin so great. Make a whole episode on that. Make episodes and, on, on EOS and talk more about EOS and their projects and, and what they're doing and things like that. You know, talk about Monero and the importance of privacy coins. You know, talk about Digibyte and the impact that they're having in South America. Talking about Dash and how they're helping out Venezuela. You know, and so on and so forth. There's plenty of projects out there in which I could be talking about that we could be talking about and I could be educating all of us and we can all be educating ourselves on all of these projects and all these other beautiful things within the crypto space. At the end, Bitcoin is king right now for now. It just is. Okay? But that doesn't mean that there's a bunch of other projects out there that are just as awesome or awesomer and um we gotta remember remember that you know all bitcoin is doing is getting rid of the banks but what are these other projects doing what are all these other coins doing what are all these other tokens ecosystems blockchains and so on and so forth what are they doing remember what we talk about we're just talking about getting rid of the middleman we, we, you know, the first, you know, round of these things was things like Napster, Spotify, Airbnb, Uber, Facebook, you name it, Google. And now we're moving on to the next generation of these things. And that's where we're at now. And so we're still at the in the infancy of all this. So that's why when I see a project that's the middleman of, for, for middlemen, literally, and we're moving into a world where we're getting rid of middlemen, it's like, come on, you know, what more do I need to say? So with that being said, guys, there's always something to be learned from every single experience. The motivation behind today's video is basically the fact that even when we give somebody one chance, two chances, a hundred chances, even though 
we might feel exhausted, even though we might feel like it was a waste of time and a waste of our effort and a waste of energy, the reality is it's only that if you, did, you yourself didn't learn anything from it. I came out of this learning the fact that, I, you know, if anything, I was just getting trolled by a bunch of people with, you know, very strong ideologies. And remember, trolling can mean a lot of things, you know, just the fact that I let myself get entangled into all this for absolutely no reason. Now, okay, there was a little bit of reason. At first, it was really just for fun and entertainment and poking fun and all that good stuff. But, you know, after getting sucked into the black hole, it's just like being in a really, really bad relationship with a really shitty partner. You know, you know you're trying to discuss something. You're trying to get a point across. You're trying to, you know, make um, a, an actual conversation, you know, take place. And all the other person is doing is changing the subject, giving the runaround and so on and so forth and not you know um, focusing on what needs to be focused on because it doesn't it, it's not to their advantage I mean not even to their advantage it's not to their convenience it's not to their um, liking and that's the thing you know we need to start surrounding ourselves with more like-minded people and like-minded groups within our ecosystem within our crypto ecosystem and just move away from projects like XRP and Ripple and last but not least when confronted uh, on these things, you know, when anyone asks us about these things, we got to be 1,000%, 100, 1 billion percent honest because we have to be, you know, that's it. You know what I mean? It's it's uh, survival of the fittest out here. Right now, um, everyone that's involved with Bitcoin and involved in, uh, you know, the crypto space for the right reasons has to look at projects like Ripple XRP like an enemy, literally, because they are doing everything humanly possible to make sure that our stuff doesn't succeed and what we're trying to do is make sure that the old legacy system doesn't succeed because we're here to give the power back to the people um and we're living in a pl in a space right now where the people don't have any power we already know this we talk about this all the time so that's it it's either it's either lead move or get out the way right or some shit like that i don't know how it goes but that's that's where we're at now if you're not contributing then get the fuck out the way it's as simple as that if you're not helping push humanity forward then it means that you're helping push humanity backwards and that's it you know what i mean that's all i have to say about xrp and any other project out there that's toxic and venomous and a cancer to the rest of the whole space all right that's it i know today was a mouthful a handful but it's just i had a lot of things on my mind on my chest i wanted to get you know off my chest and tell you guys about and um in a weird way um i'm making this the motivational monday episode because again you know we need to you know these situations happen to us all the time in all aspects of life it's not just in the crypto space it can be in any space whether it's at work whether it's a re relationship with a partner a, a, a million things and it's our job to learn from these things and push forward and make ourselves better stronger and and uh be able to you know again just make our case even more rock solid so that we can continue doing our job to the greatest and the best of our ability all right that's it guys done thank you so much to all my patrons thank you so much to everyone out there that's constantly sending me love either through donations or you know sending um you know loves and kisses to lambo and me or it's you know just hitting the like button or subscribing or leaving comments or sharing the video all that stuff is greatly appreciated and uh i, I just i fucking love you, you guys are the best and uh, last but not least, don't forget to please like, please subscribe, please share. Please follow me on Discord. Please follow me on social media. All the links are at the bottom. And uh, don't forget to stay awesome. Have an awesome, happy Monday and an amazing rest of your week. Thanks again for being here. And I'll see you guys manana. Peace out. And say no to XRP.